Hey everybody, Julie here from Mostly Caffeinated. I wanted to film for you today um, sort of a collective haul situation. It's really like things I'm adding to my wardrobe for fall 2016, fall winter, end of summer, pretty much just a haul. <laughs> All this stuff was thrifted um, from actually the same Goodwill from one location, but in two or three different trips. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, I think like nine new pieces um, to add to my wardrobe. I do do a capsule wardrobe. I've got a video showing my spring summer capsule wardrobe here on my channel. I don't have my fall winter capsule wardrobe filmed yet because I thought I'd, you know, I'd do some laundry. <laughs> but That'll be up sooner than later. Um, and there is... There is a post on my blog about inspiration for fall winter, so you might see some of this crossing over with some of that. But anyway, here we go. Um, first thing I got is a t-shirt. I own, I think, like four t-shirts altogether. I'm not really a t-shirt kind of gal. Um, but I wanted one that was kind of soft and v-neck. Uh, this is by a brand called Kirsch Essentials. Which I think is Canadian. Um, and it's the purple v-neck with a pocket. Um, it seems like it's kind of sheer, but it's not actually sheer when you wear it. And it's long enough that it goes down to like my hips. Um, I can't wear like a full legging, but I can wear a bit of a tighter pant with this, and that's nice. Um, and it's purple. I don't do a lot of colors in my wardrobe, um, but that one's a color. I can handle that. Um, next is a sweatshirt. What is this by? White Stag. Nice. And it's like a Walmart brand. Um, it's just a striped sweatshirt. It's got this little, I don't know what you call this, V <laughs> that a lot of sweatshirts have. Um, but the stripes are different there. That's kind of a nice touch. And it's got three-quarter length sleeves um, with this little roll-up. And again, the sleeves, or the stripes are different there. So that's nice. Um, and it does not have a ribbed neck. I don't like a crew neck, ribbed neck sweatshirt. But I also don't like hoods. Someday I'm going to do a blog post or a video about things I hate or things I will not wear, and I will not wear hoods. So I need a sweatshirt, and this fit the bill. Now, since I've shown one Canadian product and one, you know, like Walmart special, I do need this caveat. If I buy brand new, I do buy sustainable brands. Um, and or, you know, ethical brands. I try not to buy, like, sweatshop clothes brand new. But if I buy from the thrift store, I figure it makes no difference. Because the thing's already been made. Somebody already chose to purchase it and support that retailer. Me buying it from Goodwill does not affect anything in the, you know, fashion sphere. So, I just take my ethical stuff from the fact that I'm buying second hand. Okay, then I've got one new plaid flannel. Um, I do need to get rid of one of my plaid flannels because I just don't wear it. And this one I love. This is a uh, Gap brand, again, from the thrift store. Um, and it's kind of like a gingham print. It's not printed on. I mean, the pattern is woven into the fabric. Um, it's gingham, but it's, it's plant flannel. It's cool. Uh, and the pocket's buttoned down, which I like, again, in my things that get my gourd about fashion, is slapping chest pockets on women's clothes. It's got these shoulder tabs, which I like, and it does have um, button-up sleeves, I think? Maybe it doesn't. Oh, no, I lied. No button-up sleeves. Um, <laughs> But I love this. It fits super well. It's long enough to wear with leggings without being huge. If you buy a really big plaid flannel, of course it's big enough to wear with leggings. But this is closer to the body. It fits nicer, but it's long enough to wear with leggings. And the sleeves are kind of long, so they peek out from underneath my sweater sleeves. I really like this one. Big fan. Um, that's it for shirts. Three shirts. Now two bottoms. 
The first is this pair of, I don't know what you'd call these, ponty pants? They're not quite leggings. Um, they're the Veerwang brand for Kohl's. They're not the five pocket ones. Okay, they don't have any pockets. Um, I did have the five pocket Vera Wang, I don't know, black legging pants, whatever. Um, and I wore them really heavily for one fall winter, and they pilled like crazy. I think I covered this in my What I'm Getting Rid of video. Um, so these are the same brand, but they are a different material. I did check the fabric content to make sure they were different. Um, a thing I like is they have some really wide elastic, but only on the sides of the waistband, so it doesn't look elastic, it looks plain on the front back. Um, they're pretty thick, skinny leg. Uh, they're thick enough to wear as pants, I guess, if you're the kind of person who wears leggings as pants. Um, I'm not. <laughs> Just personal preference. Um, but if you did want to wear leggings out as pants, these are nice and thick. Again, those were thrifted. Now these, mm, I feel a little convicted about, not gonna lie. I said, when I buy brand new, I try to buy ethical, I try to buy sustainable. These are... No. These are some, um, faux leather leggings. Doop doop, skinny leg, black. They're not, they're not like patent, they're not real shiny. I have wanted a pair of these for two years now. So four rounds of capsule wardrobe. Not really to wear in the summer, so two rounds of fall winter. Um, and so I finally decided to get a pair, and I looked at, you know, different websites with sustainable brands. They wanted 60 70 $80 for full leather leggings, and I didn't even know if they were going to look good on me. Um, I do have quite a butt, <laughs> so some things just look really raunchy. Um, and I thought, you know, tight pants that have a little bit of sheen, it might it might be really bad. So I wanted something really inexpensive just to try the trend for one capsule wardrobe worth. Um, and in order to get them really inexpensively, I had to order these off Amazon, and these are from I don't even know where. I couldn't begin to tell you. The tag is in Korean, I think. Like... There's no, there's no content tag. I don't know what on earth these are. They run super tiny because they're made in Korea. Like, I guarantee you these are unethical. Such is life. But what I can tell you is I have worn them twice and I love them. Oh my goodness. I love them. They look great with a tunic. Um, they're not the kind of thing I can wear as pants, but I kind of knew that going in. They look fantastic. Considering that these are, like, cheapy from goodness knows where, um, they're holding up really well. They're not showing any signs of wear in the thighs, which I'm a little bit bigger of a girl. Okay, I'm a size 14. After two wearings, a lot of things start to show wear in the thighs. These don't show any. Um, I have two little boys, and they kind of, like, grab my pants. They, like, claw at my clothes. Um, I have a kid who's learning to walk, and he, like, claws at my pants and hangs on for dear life. And these are not showing any, like, scratches, digs, nothing's flaking off. I was really surprised, actually, of the quality of these, considering. So, there's that. And then I've got four dresses. Um, my aesthetic has morphed into a lot of dresses and leggings, tunics and leggings. Not because I believe in leggings so strongly, but because I believe in dresses and tunics on my body type. <laughs> um, so I wanted a few more dresses for fall, winter, and a few of these actually work in summer as well, so I'll get to wear them all year round, which is great. Uh, this happens to be Sonoma Life and Style, which I think is a Shopco brand. Um, it's kind of a, I don't know what this is, dark mint? It's, it's more green than like an aqua color, and it's light and bright, so it's not, not really teal. Um, it does break my rule about button pockets, pockets don't button. <sighs> but I love the fit of the thing so much, it's like a shirt dress, uh, it's got tab sleeves, it's got a collar, it's not too low here, it's, it's soft, what is this, it feels like it's probably like rayon, or a rayon blend, yep, 100% rayon, <laughs> which wrinkles, you can see it's wrinkly, I wore it the other day. But I really like this. And again, it's injecting a little bit of color. I don't wear a lot of color. 
So, um, up next, chambray, which is like tell them a favorite thing. I have two chambray shirts, and they're like my favorite pieces of clothing to wear. This is a chambray dress, shirt dress, tunic. It's a little longer than a tunic, but it's kind of cut like a tunic. It's got some hidden buttons here. Um, and the bottom of it, can I hold this up, is a little bit curved, a little bit of a curved hem, like a tunic would have. It's a really thin and light chambray. Um, it's Anna and Viv, which I believe is like a plus size line for Target. I don't know. But it's great. I've worn this a few times. Um, the neckline's a little bit large because it is a 1X, and I don't really wear a 1X uh, in dresses. I only wear large in tops. So the neckline's a little large. But you know what I do is I wear a bralette. This falls off one shoulder, and we're good to go for summer. Um, for fall winter, I'll wear a scarf because <laughs> I always wear a scarf. Um, and it'll be fantastic. I love this thing. Next up is this dress. Now this I did buy new from Walmart, which I don't usually buy clothes from Walmart. But this is on the clearance rack for a dollar. It's a little shirt dress slash tunic. I just couldn't help myself. It's black, sleeveless, collarless. Doesn't go too low. Does not have any flappy pockets. It's got one little, you know, regular pocket here. Um, see, it does not have a curved hem. It's got a little belt, which I'll probably just ignore. Um, and it's, again, I think it's rayon. It looks kind of sheer, but it isn't. It's soft. It's a little wrinkle prone, but that's okay. That doesn't bother me. What are you made out of? Doesn't even want to tell me. That's kind of weird. Hmm. Oh, yep, there it is. 100% right on. Um, it's made in Mexico, though, which is a little bit better than made in, you know, an Asian or Middle Eastern country. I think the ethics in Mexico are slightly better. But anyway, it was a dollar. Couldn't leave it there. I'm kind of in need of a new black dress. I have some, and they they all read a little too formal for me. So there it is. And lastly, one more straight cut dress. I'm really into this kind of sheet style. This is <laughs> this is funny. Okay, I got this from Goodwill, so it doesn't matter what brand it is. But it literally has no tags, nothing, no content tag, no brand tag. I got nothing. What this feels like is linen. Okay, it feels like, it looks like linen. It's got little slubs on it. You can see the weave. Um, it wrinkles like linen. It's light like linen. It's got two pockets on the sides. Again, it's like a longer tunic length. It can be worn as a dress, even for me with my big butt. Um, it is not too short to be a dress. So I've been wearing this even when it's been hot. And now that it's getting cooler, I'll just throw some leggings and a sweater on, and we will be set to go. Um, red to replace the red dress from my things I'm getting rid of video. Um, this one is much looser, much nicer. So there we go, some new items for fall winter 2016. I will get these all back in my closet, get my clothes washed, and try to organize my wardrobe to do a capsule wardrobe for you real soon. Um, yeah, let me know what you've been buying for fall winter. Check out my blog post about inspiration for fall winter. Check out things I'm getting rid of that a lot of these things are replacing. If you're enjoying my content, please subscribe. Um, I have two subscribers. Thanks for subscribing. Um, thanks for watching my videos. But I do have quite a bit more views than that, so please click subscribe. Um, I'm going to be uploading content a lot more frequently now, as I have been the last few days. Um, give me a thumbs up if you'd like to do that. That'll show me what kind of videos you're interested in. See you later. Bye.